order guys, gals, and legionnaires. Rikon here, and welcome back to Fallout 4 Frost. We, of course, are here with Noah in the Felon Department store, which seems to be filled to the brim with ghouls. And so, for now, we masquerade as one of them to attempt to move through and find anything that might be of use to us. There is more to search, and so, let us dive on in. Alright, Noah, let's get up and involved. Blade at the ready. Let's see what else is left here. Ghouls are plenty in the kitchen. And, uh, we will avoid them where we can. We don't need to senselessly kill them. We'd hope that no one's just going to wander on in here. Uh, and I think we are still going to check these stalls. Obviously making sure they're not trapped before we do. Making sure there's no brooms or anything like that holding them up. No. Okay. Now if you don't let us pass, we're kind of going to have to kill you. Right now I don't actually see too much there. I don't want to risk just trying to do a run and jump across there, so let's just... I go around. Ugh. The kitchen over here I would actually like to get into, so I'm sorry for you, but we're actually going to have to do something about that. Let's see if we can go around. Can. Hey! Even more rads. Okay, we just need to make this stop. Damn it. Yeah, really don't want it to be that gruesome for you. We're putting you out of your misery, but... Well, it is what it is. Take the buff out. We're gonna have to do a Radaway stint while we're here. I don't know if we have the food, etc. to survive it. I'd love to be able to find some more. So we'll see if we can pick up anything else here, other than just bubblegum. Antiseptic? Sure. Okay. Could be something useful in that box. A toy car. More screws. I think we actually have enough for now. I know that's a controversial opinion, but... I think we just might. And I think this floor might just be clear, so we need to check down below. And there is some water here, some not exactly nice looking water. And I believe that's near where we came in. What is going on? What is going on with this game? Uh, I actually don't know if that was where we came in. Oh, lovely. We can fill from the water belt. Okay. Yeah, let's fill up here. Um, although I'd say that we should wait until we find a cook station before we do that because it's not really going to be worth it unless we can sort it out. Ah, uh, just the bandage. Okay. Nothing. What were you trying to do? Were you trying to take photos of people? You were, you slimy bastard. Okay. Moving through. And moving on. Uh, I'm gonna chalk that, again, like chalking that up to a hallucination. That stuff is disappearing so rapidly. And we have not been this way yet. No, we have not. So, this side, for some reason or another, seems to have some pretty glaring issues with glare and issues. It's kind of freaking me out. I've got some more water on this side as well. I don't know what I expect to find in here, but I'm still going to look. Better to actually check. Just a regular... Okay, it's a... Uh, okay. Right, this place is freaking me out. All kinds of strange and wonderful things are happening here. Can we ring the bell? No service. Just terrible. Okay, 
Can we stop with the disappearing floor? You're kind of just doing my head in a bit here. It's more living room gear, and it uh, looks like they actually had some ammunition on site. So maybe there was... Yeah, maybe they were selling ammunition weapons on the side. Or uh, this was just added in afterwards. Oh, don't break now. Come on. No! No! Our luck, our luck is gone. Oh, we were so close to it as well. It was right there. Yes. I went too far. I went too far. We'll take it. Don't get over encumbered. Okay. We're still okay. Just. Uh, that's going to push us over. <laughs> Ugh. The troubles of having too much. Can I use you? We can use you. Might be to get some kind of information here. Do you like work? Hmm. Okay. They're hiring. Okay. Right. Anyway, let's go back out into the creepy hallway of disappearing walls and disappearing everything. What is going on? Why is it doing this? It seems to just be this place that seems to have this issue, and I don't know why. Is it our sanity is actually playing up? Or is this just something else entirely different? Because, uh, we're, we're actually seeing less now than we were before. God damn, the rads are gonna kill us. Actually, this is gonna kill us. Okay, thank you, thank you, can we see? What is going on? I apologize. I don't want this for you. I don't want this for anyone. It seems like when we go over it, it's activating it. So it's 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 a problem probably with Fallout 4's poppin'. But then it's just something to do with frost in this location. For whatever reason, it's uh playing with our mind. With the spooky, scary skeletons. So we're not going to linger here for too long. We're going to go through, we're going to see everything there is to see, and then move on, because it's clear to Noah that there isn't anyone living here. Just more ghouls. Although that sounds like a cook station. It is, and where are they? Where are the sneaky little suckers? If they're invisible, I'm going to be pissed off. <laughs> I don't think that's the case. I think they are actually around here somewhere. They're also sometimes so little that we just do not see them. Where are you, you sons of bitches? Sounds like they might actually be upstairs. No, advanced. This could be... the way that we saw before. It is. Okay. Good. So we kind of understand how that links up. Ah! Can you not? They're going to kill us with their goddamn radiation. Now, if we can get up there, if we can use that cook station, then we stand a chance. But we're going to have to take care of these ghouls first. Come on. Come on! Stop missing! Noah! There we go. And we can see what's... Oh, they're changing rooms. I'm guessing someone locked themselves in this one. We're starting to get low. That right away is going to have to happen sooner rather than later. We're having no luck. It's a little bit. Come on. Here we go. That's it. Damn, I guess you must have been stuck in here with one of them. A goddamn stealth boy, though. Yeah, I'd like to take that with us if we can. We'll save it for a rainy day. Um, we're definitely going to have to drop some things for that, though, so... Uh, can we have one of you for now? You're going to help with our thirst as well? No, apparently you're going to do nothing. Alright, that didn't help. Purified water. That'll sort out our thirst. Properly hydrated. Okay, and we're feeling good. Now, let's get away before the rads kill us. We're going to have to kill him. Okay. I don't know where the roaches are. Okay, they're behind us. Noted. Okay. 
roaches are searching for us. We've got barely any health. We have access to a cook station. It's not a very nice looking one, but it's something. Where are the roaches? That's what I'd like to know. Because we might just have to shoot them. Where, oh, where are you? Tiny little bastards. Where are you? I know you're around here somewhere. You're searching for me. I'm searching for you. We're both searching for each other. At least it's not a glowing one. At least it's not a bloody Barnaby. Because I know you're around here somewhere. I can't, I can't go using that station while we're in combat as well. So maybe he is actually beneath here somewhere. For all I know, he could be. Let's just have this out, just in case, because we can block. If something tries to jump at us. I'm just looking f oh. Okay, that does sound like he's moving around up above. You moving- Oh, that bin? You around here? No? Where the hell are you? <laughs> <gasps> okay, the bin's bloody gone now. Oh, too many weird things happening at the moment. I really hope that he's not invisible. Doesn't it sound like it's down there? Okay, we're just going to start looking more aggressively now. You sound like you're down here. I am so confused, people. <laughs> I don't want the whole episode be to be us just trying to find it. So, let's let's get to work. Let's do some other things. Nothing. No. Okay. Okay, further back then. Oh, come on! That's two now. It's just straight? Got it. Okay, and plastic pack. To totally 100% worth it. Noah, this is uh, turning to be. It's turning out to be one of your worst episodes yet. And you know what? I blame this bloody roach. If we could just find this sucker. Everything would be right in the world. But no. He shall continue to hide from us. I'm I'm actually at a loss with that. Where could you possibly be hiding then? Unless you're down here, like trapped behind something. <laughs> I just don't know anymore, man. Where are you, bug? He's certainly not around here. You can hear his little feet occasionally. I think we're going to have to get up on this cook station. And we're just going to have to try and bunker down somewhere. We're certainly doing enough to get its attention, but... Um, that seems to be about it. What was going on in here before? Okay. All right. Well, eventually it's going to have to give up on us, and I think this is where we're going to try and make our little stay for now. So let's go ahead, drop our sleeping bag down. It's not the safest or the best place in the world for us to be, but uh, well, it's better than nothing. You know what? We might try and see if we can make ourselves a fire kit as well. So we're going to need to go chuck down our portable chemistry set. Okay. Right, we can actually make a fire kit. Perfect. Let's do it. Take that fire kit, and we're going to start a fire here. Um, I'm going to try and run back and transfer some water. So let's go pick that up. And I think this is pretty much where we're going to start the fire. Okay, move off you. 
get that cooking pot there for now. Okay, so let's go ahead, transfer some things for now. Um, and then we'll be back. We will definitely be back for all this crap. Uh, we're going to take that, all the bottles. And let's see, white bottles take you as well. Okay, let's go get ourselves some water and or the stuff out of the taps. Uh, it looks like that's closer. Honestly, the taps would probably make more sense in a roleplay sense. God damn. Still more of this. Maybe it's maybe it's around here somewhere. Who knows, eh? Who knows? Yeah, it's definitely in sections that it seems to do that, so... That's peculiar, and it just seems to be on this side of the building. Oh, no, are you around here somewhere? You are, aren't you? I don't... I don't know. I don't know where you are. It's to start filling. Hope for the best. And you don't have to watch me do all of this filling because it's going to take quite a while. I'll see you on the other side. Okay, we've got it and we're actually carrying too much to be able to run at the moment. Only just by a little bit, so we could probably get away just by dropping some crap. Uh, I say drop some crap, but I, don't, I never want to drop stuff. We're going to drop the nuka just for the time being, though. We can always try and come back for that, should we need to. Let's make our way back. I'm going to stay crouched for now just because of all of this madness. I don't even know what's going on with that skeleton over there. I'm trying not to notice other things on the map as well, as best as we can. I think we just need to get out of this place after we've, um, you know, had our rest and had our purge. Alright. Let's get cooking. And plus, having this mask on for too long ain't healthy. Not at all. Okay, so, uh, we can't make anything else food-wise, can we? If we go along to- actually, we probably can. If we go to roast, we can make cooked cram, so let's start with that. Nice. Deviled eggs. Alright. And that's the lot. Okay, so, we'll see if there's anything else. No soup or anything. Good. Boiled water. Let's get to work. We're moving towards a level up, so this isn't too bad. Okay, so. We got what we needed. Oh, that that mask just every time. Okay, so we we're gonna close up that because we don't want to be seeing her. We are going to use our right away. Um, how badly is that gonna mess us up? Fatigue and suppressed immunity. Yeah, it's not gonna be super great for us. We're gonna go ahead and use it. We're hungry from lack of food and we're tired. Yeah, we definitely need to sleep after this. So let's go ahead and start having some of those omelets. Peckish and properly fed. Fantastic. So that's gonna start to take our rads away. Uh, I would like to try and see if we could take a fungal purge at the end of it, but uh, as we know, we need to have a decent amount of health. I think it's about 60 to be able to do it, so we wanna make sure that we have enough health there. Uh, so let's let's go ahead and have a bandage for now, or have a bandage, put a bandage on our wounds for now, which is gonna start to heal us, just ever so slowly. And then as soon as we see that, stop working. It looks like we've reached the end of the right away. No, there's still a little bit more going there. I'm just obviously looking at the wall right now because it's the easiest way for us to see it uh, slowly moving. And there is still a bit of life in it. That's definitely given us a lot more health back, so I'm happy about that. It's all part of the frost experience and survival and fallout is uh, balancing radiation, hunger, thirst, everything trying to stay alive and really Noah has been our longest lived character all it takes is one simple mistake we saw with Elliot how bad you know how how a very easy mistake to make can completely screw you over okay stats where are we at at the moment we're at 28 HP out of 90 at the moment so yeah I would like us to heal up a little bit more we could actually just use one of our and I think I am in this instance we're gonna use one of our blood packs just because we've got a few of those hanging about which is gonna get our HP up higher as soon as we get our health up to 60 just above uh, I think we're gonna use our fungal purge and I'll double check if we actually have a fungal purge I feel like we do yes we do okay so we'll just let that carry on for a little bit further a little bit more and we, we need to make sure that we take everything out of our campfire before the fire finishes. Otherwise it will uh, disappear forever into the ether. And we don't want that. Um, at least we've got water to kind of help us for a while. 
nearly at full health there now. Is it going to be enough? Let's have a look. Ah, 50 HP? Really? God damn it. So, we pretty much have to take buff out here, I think. Uh, I don't want to get addicted to buff out. Is Party Girl only affecting alcohol right now? I think that might be the case. So, we could still become addicted, I think. Yeah, that's just alcohol. We've actually had a fair bit of buff out over the last while, so I don't I don't know how keen I would be to do that. We could have some whiskey for now. We still have some whiskey in there. It's gonna get rid of a few more rads. And as long as we still have um our bandage doing work, then we should be okay. Let's have a look. Uh bandage, yeah, cool. Okay. So we should just be getting just a little bit of HP back, enough to do this purge. Uh, but we're going to be right on the edge of it, right on the bloody edge. Really takes it out of us. Let's have a look. We're nope, we're still at 50 HP, so uh, it's not it's not really working. Great, grand. Um, you can't help us with your ladle and your femur. Well, that sucks. So it's unlikely we're going to be able to use this and really get anything out of it. 50, that'll, that'll kill us. Uh, and I don't want that to happen. So, I guess we just gotta bite the bullet. We're gonna have to take a uh, buff out here. Okay, that's good. We're okay. We're right. Uh, we're gonna have to drink as well, so we're gonna get a few rads back by doing that, but... Properly hydrated. Fantastic. Okay. Now, let's have a look. Just quickly go stats. Okay, oh, that's a lot better. That's a lot better. Okay, so with that, let's go ahead and use our fungal purge. Boom. 30 and hungry, and it's doing its work. It works really fast, which I guess is a good thing, but uh, it doesn't work for too long. It's a cheap and effective way for us to get rid of radiation. Uh, I guess while we're at it, let's just eat some of the brain fungus. Which is going to hurt us, but it's going to give us some, some rads off as well. Okay, all right. So, just check out the stats. See how we're doing at the moment. Brain fungus. That's helping us out. Uh, okay, all right. We're thirsty and we're hungry. The hungry, the hunger, rather, we can deal with right now. That's our last omelet. Shoot tore through that, didn't we? Okay, well, we are going to go to sleep. Um, we're going to transfer everything out of here. There's nothing else we can do at this stage. Um, actually, in saying that, we did just have a few, a fair few drinks of water. I think it's probably going to be the wisest thing to do if we just have some more of that before we go to sleep. So let's go ahead, get ourselves feeling good, feeling fine, excellent. And now, if we just run back towards the water, quickly scoop up the rest, get that on the boil, will be good before the morning, so just slurp that up. It's just easier than us going to the tap, especially when all the things are disappearing. Okay, that's everything. Make our way back. That bug's probably around somewhere. We're not gonna go searching for him though. Okay, get boiling. Two lots. I'll take it. Better than nothing. I really don't want to sleep with this mask on, so we're going to take it off. Um, but we want to transfer everything out of here. So, take all. Yep, definitely. And, uh, no, never what I want to do. You need to activate the fire, not this. Apologies for screwing us around. Alright, let's see. Activate the fire, we are going to pick that up. And let's just leave the fire going. Give us a little bit of comfort while we're sitting in here. Actually probably would get out of control in a place like this, so, yeah. Let's, uh, let's put our, let's leave our helmet off for now. Just take the ghoul mask off. Yeah. Actually, just be free of anything on our face for a little bit. And we're gonna go ahead and extinguish that. Let's go to sleep. Sleep as long as we can. Just gonna go for those five-hour stints if possible. Make the most of it. Okay, buff out and the rest have worn off, but we're just gonna... Yeah, we're awake, still tired, not surprised. Just keep on going. Probably actually even go for a little bit more. Um, at least three hours. Wake still tired, go ahead, sleep for another three hours. 
Okay. Not too terrible. Um, we're hungry now, though. We're hungry and we are still tired. Or actually, we're peckish. So, being peckish, we should be able to use cooked cram. There we go. We'll take it. Go ahead and pick you up. And uh, let's get that bloody mask back on for now. Lovely. Okay, so with that, let's see what's left of this place. Not too much left for us to explore right now, but obviously there are some weird things still going on, even during the day. So that's where we came in from. Good. So that kind of means that we have seen everything in here to a degree. There's probably some things that we've missed out on uh, because of weird happenings like this. Very, very weird happenings. I just don't want to step on or step off something that could end our life. That'd be swell. We could go out this back door, actually. See where that um, takes us to. You know what? That's the one. That's the way we're going to go. Um, chucking on our gas mask and everything before we leave, though. Okay. Could be swarming with ghouls on the outside. And there is only one way for us to find out together. Let's do it. Cross our fingers. Hope for the best. Sure, we'll be fine. Yeah. With the big bad ghoul hunter. Okay. Ah, this is by the car park. Okay, okay. You know what? No rad storm. No nothing. Well, bad stuff there. So it looks like we might have been able to escape this place with the tail of the molden men and the hell beneath the ground. I guess not everyone gets to walk away from that. And sure, we fought to get into the underground. But now seeing what is actually in the underground, it, uh, well, it isn't the nicest place in the world. No one's been for a lot so far. And so maybe it's with this final journey to the Coast Guard Pier, she hopes that she's going to find, well, people like her. Well, maybe not people like how she is now, but people like how she was before all of this. So let's start to move towards it together. Okay, we've got Brain Fungus. How much space do we have at the moment? How are we doing inventory-wise? We're actually better. Okay, let's take it. I feel, I feel like we've kind of been here with someone before. It might have been Elias. Kind of creeps me out a little bit. Got some more brain fungus, okay. Lots of hub flowers. And just that kind of eerie silence that we get on the surface. Which I'm oh so fond of. What I'm not fond of is uh, mines. So we'll use our brain fungus to keep our eye out for anything that could potentially kill us. Which is essentially everything. Oh my god! Uh, uh, that scared me so much. God damn the sound design in this game. Ah, uh, holy sh! There is something very big and angry up there. It's, it almost looked like it's the kind of thing that stopped that train. Um, okay. That is a very big angry bear by the sounds of things. We've dealt with bears before. So let's just start backing up. I hope it's a bear. I hope it's not something else. So let's just... Let's go nice and easy. I mean, I want to get sight on this. I mean, curiosity's there. But curiosity's killed the cat, and it's killed uh, other people in this series before, so... I, I kind of need to know. Kind of need to know. What is this place up here? That flag! Is that the Federation? The Alliance? But also, what the hell was that noise? Because that just, uh... It kind 
kind of got to me. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Is it something around here? I don't know. Um. Okay, let's go nice and it's nice and slow. Okay, got some construction bonds. What the? F no, no, I don't like that. Uh, can we not make that noise? Oh my god! What? No, no, no! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Run! What? No, 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 don't, n not neutralization, not, not, not that, no, 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 um, okay, 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 w what? Oh my god, oh my god, what? Oh my god, that's a death claw! Oh my god, it's fighting a death claw! Oh my, okay, okay, that's a sentry bot versus a death claw. Oh, um, that's what the noise was, it wasn't a bear, it was, oh my god. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, holy crap. Oh, I do not want to find fire at either of those things. There's two of probably the worst things that you could possibly have in the game going toe-to-toe -to -toe right now. This is freaking goddamn, uh, it'll come to me Pacific Rim right now. <laughs> uh, we're just gonna let them fight among themselves and, um, see if there is a victor at all. Because this is... My morbid curiosity is getting the better of me here. I mean, the, I mean it's firing missiles at him, and th it is th I mean, that's going ham on the robot. I mean, what's you what? Wh who wins here? Either way, we do not want to get seen by either of them. But I kind of need to know where. My question is, where was the death claw? Because I did not see it. And how are they both still fighting? I just, uh, I'm gonna get further away. I'm gonna get further away, because, uh... That is just several layers of nope. Apart from lack of water, that, that's the least of my worries right now, I'll be honest. Who's gonna win? I, 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 I just don't know how long they can fight for here. Oh, 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 I think... It killed it. It won. It killed the Death Claw. Who had their money on the bot? I think no one needs to know what that thing was because, okay, I... I was wrong before when I said, uh, Death Claws aren't around yet. Um, no, apparently they were designed by the US Army. So, they were around, which is probably not super well known to the public and, and even to Noah. So that thing would be a literal nightmare, and it was to me. Uh, and now if that sentry bot roaming around, I don't know if this is a good idea, but I need to, and Noah needs to see exactly what that thing was. It, di it did die, didn't it? Okay, that's it over there. Okay. So the sentry bot must have been inside there, and we somehow set off some kind of proximity alarm. I didn't see where that death claw was though, but... Ah, oh. uh, yeah. It doesn't get better than moments like that. Please be dead. Please be dead. Don't be playing. Okay, death claw meat. We'll take all three. That, I imagine, is just too... Uh, too scary. For Noah, right now, that's, um, okay, yeah, so, um, noted, this area, not super great, um, but we are close to the Coast Guard Pier, which is where we're wanting to try and get to, um, I, uh, I'm a little lost for words, I'll be honest, I'm gonna huddle next to this tree, oh, dear God, it's up there, and that, guys and gals, is where we're going to finish things for today. Something as wild and as crazy as that I could not have planned. And uh, I... I just didn't 
Fistius running into a Deathclaw and a Sentry Bot at the same time. I think Noah is just as bamboozled as I am. I have been Rykon. You have all been awesome. And until next time, stay tuned.